Hello and welcome to the Scatterful channel and today I'm going to show you how to build a PC part 5 which is showing you how to update and set up the BIOS for optimal gaming performance. So part 1 was showing you all the parts you need in order to assemble a PC, then part 2 was actually putting it all together, part 3 was installing and activating Windows, Part four was finding the right drivers and utilities for our PC. And the final part here for part five, is like I said at the start of the video, finding the latest BIOS, updating our BIOS, and then showing you what does what in the BIOS and tinkering around with a few things before we can officially call it done for building this PC. So to find the right BIOS, it's actually really simple. So to update your BIOS, it's gonna be super duper easy. First of all, go ahead and plug in your spare flash drive into your PC. And next, go ahead and search up the name of your motherboard. So I've got the Asus Tough Gaming BA50 Plus Wi-Fi. That's the motherboard we chose at the very beginning of this build guide. We're gonna click on support. No matter if you have an MSI, ASRock, Gigabyte, or even Asus board, if you click support, you should be able to find the drivers and tools which we covered in our last video where I showed you how to install all the motherboard drivers and utilities. But here we wanna deal with the BIOS, which should be right next to it. And here the latest BIOS was released this year, just this last month. We'll go ahead and download that. Downloads, let's extract this to that flash drive we plugged in earlier to our PC. There, as we can see on our flash drive, we have our BIOS renamer and our actual BIOS drive on that flash drive, and we are basically ready to enter the BIOS, which there's a few ways you can do this. The surefire way is to type in advanced startup into Windows, and then you click on restart now, restart now, and then soon you'll get to this page, and here you can just go ahead and click on troubleshoot, advanced options, UFEI firmware settings, restart, and now as you can see, you'll pop up into the BIOS like this, or, the much quicker way to do this is just to simply go to your start menu, click on the power button, restart, and then when the brand of the motherboard pops up on screen, that's where you wanna spam the delete key on your keyboard as soon as that pops up, and that'll bring you straight into the BIOS. So we're gonna time this correctly. I'm gonna start pressing it, and there we go. We are once again in the BIOS. So to update your BIOS, no matter the brand of the motherboard, there should be some sort of option where you click here onto advanced mode. You'll see some sort of advanced mode button no matter the BIOS you go with. And there should be a universal tool tab that you should be able to click on and you should see some sort of thing that lets you click on flash. And this is a cue to a BIOS flash, AKA updating your BIOS. ASRock is gonna have this name differently, so will Gigabyte, so will MSI, but this is what it's called. You basically wanna click on this, it'll automatically detect that flash drive we have plugged into our PC, and there is our BIOS file. Of course, make sure to read up on this. You do not wanna to touch your PC whatsoever, don't turn it off, let it do its thing. If you interrupt this process whatsoever, you could potentially break your motherboard. Once again, we'll go ahead and read the file. There's no risk in doing this with a brand new PC because we have no sensitive information on the drive yet. Once again, there is our BIOS file to let us double check and make sure we have the right one or the latest one. This is for the right motherboard, this is the latest. And look at this, you will not be able to roll back your BIOS after updating your BIOS to this version, which is basically saying, once you update to this BIOS, you cannot go back. Which is not the case with every BIOS update available for your motherboard, but it looks like in the case of this one, this is permanent, we can't go back. Either way, we're gonna go ahead and yes, and let it do its thing. And it's important to let your PC, like I said, let it do its thing. It may restart a few times, but ultimately you wanna let this progress bar finish completely, let the PC restart again, and then we'll enter the BIOS and do our final few touches. So our BIOS update just completed and it's gonna bring us straight to Windows, but I wanna access the BIOS again because I wanna show you those final few changes I'm gonna do. So once again, I'm gonna spam the delete key on the keyboard the moment the brand of the motherboard pops up. Ooh, it's actually not finished yet. Okay, there we go. We can go ahead and enter the BIOS now pressing F1, and here we are. So this is what we're gonna do. The most important thing you need to change in the BIOS on any brand new PC build, or even existing one if you didn't know you have it, 
is we need to change the speed of the memory to our rated Expo, or if you have an Intel CPU, XMP profile, because we have a 6,000 megahertz kit of RAM. This is the one we wanna use, and this is gonna enable us to run it at its full speed. A few of the things you might wanna keep note of here is the fan control. ASRock, Gigabyte, and MSI are gonna have their own similar thing. But here you can change the fan curves of not just your case fans, but even your CPU fan, if you wanted to say run a little bit more silent, even more. But regardless, you can play around with this however you want. You can also check out your boot priority. So this is the order in which you're able to boot into your PC. So there is our singular Corsair M.2 SSD. This is the first thing that your PC will read when it boots up. This is correct. And there is our USB flash drive from our Windows, not Windows, our BIOS file. This obviously doesn't mean anything, but this is the easy mode. If we click on advanced mode, this will show us a lot more stuff, including overclocking, which you are welcome to look into at your own pace. I'm not gonna cover that, but this is where you can get a little bit more performance on top of, if we click here on advanced and we scroll all the way down, here's another overclocking tab we can access. Here we can mess around with precision boost overdrive, which is another thing I like to touch. This is basically automatic overclocking for your CPU within reasonable bounds. You just click enabled on that and your CPU should run slightly faster. Otherwise that is basically it. But another thing you might wanna note is that on any motherboard brand you go with, under the boot tab, you should see secure boot. This is something you wanna double check because more and more games nowadays are enabling secure boot to prevent hackers and any sort of cheating like the new Battlefield game. So you probably wanna make sure this is set to standard or heck, you might even be custom. Make sure this is enabled, but otherwise, once you've made all the changes you want to the BIOS, you can click on exit, save changes and reset. This will show you all the changes you've done. So there's our Expo profile enabled. There is our PBO, our Precision Boost Overdrive that slightly overclocks our CPU. We'll click on OK. Our PC will restart and we should see the Windows desktop. Okay, so let your PC do its thing. It needs to train the memory at that faster speed. So definitely give it a few minutes. It could take as long as five or potentially more, but let your PC do its thing. And then you should get back to the Windows desktop and Congratulations, not only have you first built your PC, but you've installed drivers on it, you've set it up correctly, and now it is ready to go for gaming. So again, check out parts one through four if you need any recaps on how to build this PC, how to choose parts, how to install anything. But otherwise, thank you for joining me on this how to build a PC series, and hopefully you know how to build your next PC when you wanna drop even more money on a future one with even faster components. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching this video, and this is the Scoutable Channel, signing out.